Today we're fixing this Yard Machines lawnmower that won't start. If you'll notice, it has a Briggs & Stratton engine. It really doesn't matter what kind of lawnmower you have, but if you've got a Briggs & Stratton engine that is one of the E or EX series, you may have this problem too. These have a plastic carburetor on them. A lot of people don't know how to fix those, so I'm going to show you how to do that today. This belonged to a neighbor of ours, and they need it fixed. Uh, I'm just going to quickly confirm that it does what they say it's doing, which is not starting. Prime it. Doesn't look like it starts. So if you let your mower set over the winter with gas in it and you didn't drain it out, the problem is more than likely you have a clogged carburetor. So I'm going to show you how to clean it out. Take off your air filter cover, pull out the foam filter. Next we're going to take out these screws. After those are out, you're just going to pull this straight out. We're going to disconnect the fuel hose right here. There's a clamp. First we're going to take a pair of vice grips, squeeze the hose so that it doesn't leak. Then we're going to take another pair of pliers and remove the clamp. I'll just clamp that there. That'll shut off the fuel flow. Then we'll remove the clamp. Now with the hose taken off, the next thing we have to do is maneuver the carburetor so that we can get this little linkage off. If you get it twisted right, it should just pop off just like that. So now we're left here with the carburetor and the air filter assembly. What we're actually going to be doing is taking the bottom bowl off of this carburetor. So inside of this bowl is where the culprit's going to be. We'll just get straight to the point and take that off. Gas will come pouring out. Um, sometimes when you open up these carburetor bowls, it'll have a bunch of green stuff or water. This actually doesn't look too bad. So now for where the problem is, it's actually inside of this thing. The pin for the uh, float hinge came out. I'm just going to sit that to the side. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the float. And the needle valve on the float looks fine. Next, we're going to pop this out of here. This is where the clog is going to be. So here we go. The culprit for why this thing's not starting is more than likely going to be in this piece here. This is kind of the magic part of these Briggs & Stratton plastic carburetors that some people don't know about. you got to pull this out, then it comes apart even further. This uh, middle and right piece is going to pop straight off. So we got that off of there. We're going to take a wire brush and some carburetor cleaner, spray through these passages and clean them out. We're going to take this wire brush and use some of the bristles to shove them down in some of these uh, holes. Make sure they're cleaned out really good. Sometimes you'll find where it doesn't, it seems like you can't even push the bristle through. You just have to work at it a little bit and it'll go through. So you got a hole here, you also have holes uh, in the center, a couple there, and the ends should be cleared out as well. Now on this other piece that we took off, you're going to make sure that all these passages are clean as well. Obviously there's this huge one, but that's really to slide over a different piece. And the end here, make sure this hole is all cleaned out. And sometimes they'll look clean, but not be quite as clean as they should be. So even if it looks like it's open, go ahead and shove some wire in there. Work it around anyhow. After you think you've got it done, we're going to put these back together. We'll slide this back on. The large piece here goes over the middle. 
like this. You push it, and it'll kind of snap back together. There we go, like that. You'll notice that one with the rubber o-ring on it. It's going to go inside of here. I'll show, try and show you. Not each of those areas in there is equal. So on the right, it's, uh, I guess, not as deep as the other. So it's more shallow there. That's the where that's where the side with the rubber o-ring is going to go. Push that in there, kind of snaps into place. All right, now once you get that back in there, then it's time to reinstall the float. So once you got that needle on the float like that, we're gonna take it, put it right back down there in its home. This little hinge here, we could have put it in first. In this case, I'm putting it in afterwards. But we're just going to make sure that that goes down into these uh, two grooves on the side. Make it a hinge. And it'll move like so. After that's on there, then we're going to take the bowl and reinstall the bowl. those two screws back in there just like so all right I'm gonna put that linkage on there first it's kind of good view here so I've got the whole carburetor sideways and I just slip the linkage on like that next we're gonna put the hose back on So, took that, uh, put the vice grips back off and I'm using them to push the clamp over. And once that's done, we've got the hose and the linkage connected. We're basically just going to push this carburetor straight back into there and make sure everything connects back up. This top one, this top hose, we can go ahead and kind of slide it on ahead of time and then we're going to push the rest of the car back onto that inlet which would typically be like some type of manifold Just like that. Next, we're going to put these screws back in. Got one. And two. All right. Get everything back on like that. Now we're going to give it a test start. In case it wasn't clear, there was a clog in the carburetor. Even though it didn't look extremely bad compared to some of the other ones that I fixed, we put those uh, wire brush bristles through all the holes, cleared it out, and that's what it took. Now it runs great. So last thing, we're going to take the foam air filter, put it back on, reinstall the air filter cover, and we're gonna give it another test start just to make sure we're still good to go. So there's five common culprits when you got a lawnmower or a small engine in general that won't start. Compression, 
airflow, fuel, timing, and spark. It's almost always fuel issue. And when I say a fuel issue, it means that you're not getting the right fuel mixture. Maybe you're getting nothing, maybe it's just not right. Typically it's due to old gas being left in the carburetor and fuel system over the winter and you clean it out and it'll start and run like new. If you found this video helpful, give me a like. Leave me a comment to let me know if you had the success that I did. And if you are interested in seeing more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. Thanks.